All right. In this video, I will cover how to manually install the Docker Snap Camera Server port of Jaku's public web server. And I will go over the installation process and explain each installation step. This is the official repository of the Docker server port. And the installation instructions are here. And before we go over that, you want to make sure that you have actually Docker installed. You can get it from the official website. You can search through Google or you type in docker.com. You can find it easily. And you also want to have open SSL installed, which is a little bit harder to find. You can search on Google or you can go to your favorite download website or you go to the slproweb.com website. I will put a link to that. Actually, I think there's a link. Yes, there's a link in the repository. So you can just use that one and then download uh, a version of OpenSSL, which is required for SSL certificate generation. Now, let's, um, let's start by downloading the server code. We can download a zip and then save to um, our favorite location. Me quickly go here. So if you downloaded the zip file and if you extracted the contents, you will be ending up with something like that. After downloading and extracting the project files, the first thing we are going to do is we will create a configuration file. The project provides a template for the configuration, which is called example.env. We will create a copy of that file and paste the copy in. And then we are renaming the file to .env, just .env, no file name, just the extension. And we now created a configuration file. You can open the configuration file in the text editor and take a look inside, but you don't need to change any of the default values. The defaults are good to go, and we can proceed to the next step. The next step is to generate a SSL certificate. And in order to do that, we need to have OpenSSL installed on our local system. If you haven't installed OpenSSL by now, then you should go to the website and download OpenSSL. you find the link in the repository. So let's go back to our project folder. And inside our project folder, there's a subfolder called SSL. And that folder is pretty much empty except for one file. If we now double click on gen cert, and again, that command requires OpenSSL. If I double click on that, then I have now two additional files in the SSL subfolder. That means we successfully created a certificate as easy as that. In the third step, we need to tell Snap Camera to actually trust our local certificate. And we can do that by installing the certificate as so called root certificate on Windows. In order to do that, we can actually 
copy this command. But before we can copy this command, we first need to create a PowerShell. And we have to run the PowerShell as administrator. If we are not executing it as administrator, we will get an error. So go open up PowerShell, run as administrator. We get one of those ugly windows. And what I do now is I actually copy the path to my directory and I paste that path in here with CD quote and again quote and now I'm inside that folder inside my PowerShell and now I can go and copy that command by clicking the button here. I can paste in the commands. Click enter. And now I successfully imported the generated certificate as root certificate on Windows. After installing the root certificate, we can now continue with Docker. You need to have Docker installed. If you haven't installed Docker yet, then go to docker.com, download Docker Desktop, go through the installation process. You have to reboot your computer after installation and then come back here. So after you installed Docker, you again need a command line. You can use PowerShell or Windows Terminal. So again, we're going with PowerShell, creating one of those ugly windows. And I will copy my path. And then paste that into PowerShell with CD quote, my path quote. And now I can type Docker compose up and you can find the command also on the project page. You can copy that if you want. And after we typed in Docker Compose up, we can execute that. And the first time we are actually running the command, we will most likely get a lot of errors on our screen. That is because MySQL the database server, MySQL, isn't ready. It needs to set up everything and initialize. So there's a lot of errors floating over my screen right now, but we can actually ignore that. We just wait to finish. Okay, I think it's finished. So what I can do now is I can actually close this with CTRLC. Great.
we have now initialized the server inside Docker. And now we can go to Docker desktop. And we should see something like this. And from now on, we can start the server by clicking the button here. You can actually fold or unfold. And then you click start. And from now on, this is the step you will need to do in order to start your local Docker server. For the last final step, we need to edit our Windows ETC hosts file. That file is located at system root, system32, drivers, etc, hosts. Let me just copy the path of the directory. And paste it in here. You see the host file inside that folder. And we need to edit this file as administrator. You can use any text editor, but just make sure you're running the text editor as administrator. I will use Notepad++. And we copy this entry and then just paste it in here. We save the file. I actually have to open it twice because of the administrator rights. And now we're done. That's it. All five steps are now complete. And we can now start the Docker server. And after that, we can start the Snap Camera application and see if everything works correct. Okay, so now it's the moment of truth. I'm inside Docker desktop. I will execute the server by clicking that play button. The server is now starting. And now I will open up Snap Camera. to see if everything works as desired. And everything looks good so far. Let me check the categories. They're all loading. Great. Everything seems to be here, which is good. And let me quickly turn into a human being because the filters won't work on a cat. So I just turned human. Let me check the lenses. They all work fine. Let me... So everything works. We set up the Snap Camera Docker server on our local system and completed all five steps. Let me turn back into a cat. Okay, I'm back as a cat with some last final words. If you have any problems or if you 
find any bugs or have any suggestions to make, please go to the project page and let me know. You can actually create a issue. Just click here. I'm not signed in right now, but you can create a issue and tell me about your problems or whatever you want to tell me. And yeah, thank you for watching. And, and that's it.